Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Connect. My name is Nick. I'm here with Daniel. Uh, thanks for joining us, Daniel. Thanks for having me. So you'll probably recognize him. He's back to show us another demo on the Launchpad Sensor Tag Kit. He's an applications member of the uh, Launchpad team there. So, um, you know, previously you walked through kind of the out-of-box demo. That's right. Now uh, you're going to walk through kind of the, uh, another piece of functionality. Can you tell us a little bit about what this demo will be? Sure. So what we're showing is um, how to use Zigbee and DMM on the Launchpad Sensor Tag Kit. Um, so basically what we're doing is taking some examples from our Simplink SDK. Um, one of them's already been pre-compiled and is loaded into the mobile app. Um, the other one um, I've loaded onto a launch pad. And what we're going to show is how we can OAD a Zigbee image onto our launch pad sensor tag kit. And then using DMM, uh, we will use the launch pad sensor tag kit as a Zigbee light switch to communicate to a Zigbee coordinator light and to a mobile phone at the same time. Okay, yeah, very cool. So you'll use both the BLE and the Zigbee functionality um, as well as the over-the-air download. For those who maybe haven't seen our uh, previous videos, can sure. you short, give a short explanation of what DMM actually is? Yeah, so DMM stands for our Dynamic Multi-Protocol Manager. And what it lets us do is timeshare between two different stacks. So we can have a Zigbee stack and a BLE stack running at the same time on our device okay. um, using one antenna. So one radio, two protocols, exactly. essentially. Okay, and then maybe can you, uh, since there's several things happening, can you walk us through, sure. maybe draw out what we're going to see? So what we're going to do is we're going to use the um, iPad in this case to OAD a new image to our Launchpad sensor tag kit. And that's going to be over BLE. So I'll write BLE. Um, once that new image is loaded, we'll still have BLE to be able to communicate back to the iPad, but we're also going to have a Zigbee connection to our um, Zigbee collector light. Okay. Um, and so what that's going to let us do is be able to control that Zigbee light from both the LPSTK as a light switch and using our iPad to connect to the light switch. Oh, perfect. Over BLE. Okay. So kind of a, a use case, you might have a, a light switch in your house. Yeah. Um, you want it to be able to control your living room lamp, but sometimes you're sitting on the couch and don't want to get up. You can pull out your phone and get the same functionality. Gotcha. Yeah. Very cool. Well, let's see it in action. Sure. So first thing we'll do is select the Launchpad Sensor Tag Kit from the Simplink Starter app and go to Sensor View. And then we're going to select the firmware downloader. So this is using our enhanced OAD. We're going to select a firmware file. In this case, it's the DMM Zigbee Indevice ZED switch and we're going to program the LPSTK. All right, so now there's a BLE connection, and exactly. we're, we're loading the new firmware. That's right. So now we have um, the OED completed. So our Launchpad sensor tag is now running the DMM Zigbee in-device switch okay. um, example, which is part of our SDK. Um, and so what we can see in the app is that we now have the ability to uh, control our lamp state. Um, we can set up some of the provisioning for the Zigbee device, and we can also OED to a different image. Um, but we don't need to do any of that, so all I'm going to do is start the devices so they can pair. And now that they're paired, when I click the left button on the Launchpad sensor tag, the lamp turns on. When I click it again, it turns off. So this is the light switch example. Um, but then to showcase the DMM um, with the BLE connection from the iPad, I can also turn the lamp on and off. Cool. Okay. So yeah, this is a, basically a Zigbee end device switch, right. and you can either go directly to the coordinator, use Zigbee, turn it on and off, or using DMM, you can use BLE to the switch exactly right. over the Zigbee network. That's exactly right. And so the, you know, the, the use case of having this switch mounted on your wall, I think, makes a lot of sense, right? That would right. be a great, great use case for something that's low power, encapsulated, um, whereas our coordinator is uh, connected to mains, so it's, it's okay that that one's a launch pad. Yeah, this example. gotcha. So, and so this is all available. People can get started. Uh, exactly. wh where can they find this example? So both of these examples are available in the CC1352 um, SDK. Um, if you want to learn more about Launchpad Sensor Tag, including some specific examples about how to get this demo up and running, it's dev.ti.com slash LPSDK. Okay, great. Yeah, uh, Daniel, thanks for coming back again and showing us another thanks LPSDK me. demo. Uh, very cool. Guys, uh, don't miss out. Get one of these kits. They're very cool. Get started. Start playing with them today. Thanks for joining this episode of Connect. As always, if you have feedback, tweet at us at Sensor to Cloud if there's topics you want us to cover or any sort of feedback. And stay tuned, there's going to be more LPSTK demos coming up. There's more Simplink experts, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys. Thanks.